I would recommend starting with three family core values. And a friend of mine, he told me this. He said, mm. go home, you, write down three core values, define them for yourself, and then run every decision you make through your value filter. And if it's not aligned with your values, just don't do it. We might have a little more time on our hands, so maybe taking a little more time to be thoughtful around what we're doing is going to allow us to bring a little more peace to, to the day. And so we're just showing some practices we do to bring a little more peace and groundness throughout the day. Blessings on our food. Yeah. Thank you for our family, yeah. our home. Yeah. Our abundance that we have right now for the earth. Thank you for this food. May it give us the life force energy we utilize throughout the day. Aho. Aho. Sarla? And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe! So the first thing we're going to be working on is creating some family core values. And uh, in a sense, uh, we're, I'm probably cheating a little bit because I've been, we've been working on core values for the last few years as a family. So we kind of have a little bit of this. We kind of have a little bit of this already practiced all in our household. Although if you don't have this practice in your household, just do it anyways and this it's so simple all you have to do is i would recommend starting with just with three family core values and a friend of mine basically he told me this he said mm. go home you, write down three uh, three Thank family core uh, three core values mm. define them for yourself and then run every decision you make through your through your value filter and if it's not aligned with your values just don't do it at the end of the day, things aren't perfect, but this is one of those additional things you can add into a time that's of unsurety or of a time of surety to help make better, wiser decisions. So some of the things we I like to do a lot of times, a lot of times we might want to instill our values upon other people, but at times it's nice to find that just kind of ask everyone what their values may be and make sure to ask them what values are and if they're not sure what they are then you want to take the time to define uh, define what values are and so what are values values are things that help govern govern us or, or value the way i use values is they help govern my decision making and so values are something that you could set for yourself to you just going home and saying hey i want to be a team player and being a team player means this to me or so maybe another person might want being respectful as one of their core values, but they might have a different meaning. Those are individual core values. What we're going to do is we're going to agree on a family core set of values. So let's say a few of us all agree on respect. Well, we're going to create a meaning <laughs> together as a family, and it's going to be simple and easy. Uh, it's going to be as simple as easy as going around and explain what they are. Since my, the family already knows what family core values are and what they mean, we'll skip that process, but you know what they mean at this point. And so we're going to go ahead and turn to the family and just ask, how would you like to be treated on a daily basis? Because we might be spending a lot more time together than we are used to. How would you like to be treated? Um, respect. Respect, all right. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means, like, um, hearing people out and understanding and, um, yeah, I mean, like, I think it kind of goes hand in hand with understanding other people. Sarah, I saw your hand up. What, how about for you? One of my core values. Yeah, one of your is, core values. Or maybe adding to. Oh, do you like? Do you guys like this respect and that meaning? To kind of, uh, to uh, to hear people out and and try and find understanding. I like it. Would you? I like that. Yeah. And no. At the end of the day, these don't have to be perfect. It doesn't. It's just about 
agreeing on a couple things real quickly so that you can so that you can get to the bigger problems at hand if uh, so that you can get to the bigger problems at hand and start helping out around the household these are just something that we're all green on in a very basic, simple blanket turn, blanket way. We can always define it or may improve it later, but we're just kind of all green on a, a couple basic things that's going to make the environment a little bit more enjoyable to be around. Honoring Sarah. people's space goes under respect, I think. Honoring people's space. And values. So as you can see here, we kind of have three different definitions or two different definitions we're going to want to take this at some point and just make one simple one simple sentence that kind of encompasses everyone's everyone's separate meanings and to get everyone to agree on this so as simple as just saying hearing hearing people hearing people out trying uh tr trying to understand uh, so that we can try and understand honoring people's space so <clears throat> So it could be something as, as simple as saying, hearing and understanding when people are asking for space. So he hearing, understanding, and honoring. when people are asking for space. And I would say it's also possessions, when thoughts, opinions, stuff like that, because that also goes under hearing people. So there, there's definitely, as you can see, it can kind of get, right now we're basically just agreeing on a couple very basic things uh, to make things a little bit more enjoyable. This, this as you can see, it, this could go on and on and on and on for a very long time. Uh, define it and redefine it and further define it and refining it and I encourage you to do it because it's only going to get you better at what you're doing for me I've been developing my my core values since I was 25 years old and I'm 34 and, and and it's been nine years so this right here is a very quick process to just get get something out so guys is there any other thing um, uh, we got respect pretty well understood is there another core value you think would be uh, is would be important for all of us as a family when we're living together to kind of honor and respect. Starla. Kindness. Kindness. I love kindness. So what does that mean to you? Me. Um, well, to me, it kind of means like being kind to people and also it kind of goes with respect, I can yeah. say, because kindness is also kind of a way of respect. Okay. All right. Is there another no. way to help describe? Okay. Is there a way you can describe what kindness means to you? Like in a, in a certain action? Is it like speaking softly to you, or um, not talking down to you, or is there a, a additional thing that that help that you can help? Maybe like, mom. Yeah, I like the one that you said, not talking down. Not talking down. Okay, so talking kind to each other. But I can definitely see by talking kind to each other, it will create a much healthier environment for people to be, for everyone to live around if we're in tight, uh, confined areas. So kindness. And we don't have to say that, hey, be, uh, talk kind to me. All we have to say is, hey, listen, is this in line with our core values? Which goes back to kindness. And we should, and that will create, hopefully over time, if we practice this and we embrace this, it will create a self-governing environment for all of us. Sarah, you had another val value. <coughs> Integrity within our actions. Okay, so let's just use a simple word. I uh, see, it's very easy for a lot of us to want to, uh, it's very easy for us to want to put the meaning into the word. Let's just use the word integrity because it encompasses so many different things. I don't know how it's spelled, sorry. Integrity. No. Take a bite of your beans, honey. It's integrity, okay? So, so this, uh, so integrity. Um, what does it, so Sarah at, what kind of said the definition um, in, integrity in our actions so it could also mean doing something to the best of your ability uh, and so uh, is that would that be okay doing it to the best of your ability integrity 
Um, I would say taking action. Doing what you say you're going to do? Keeping it easy to remember. Always. That's also an important part when creating your values. If you put a, long, a, a lot of large language into this or complicated words or put a lot of beautiful poetry into this, it might, it might, if you are speaking to poets, that might be what you want to do. But if you're speaking to simple ten people, keeping things as short and simple as possible for them to easy, for, so it's easy for everyone to understand, is going to save you in this, in this entire exercise. Or yeah, so my definition, process. my definition of integrity, that? since that's one of my core values, is mindfulness no. with our actions. Okay, so and come, you know, actions filled with love and mindfulness. Mindfulness of actions, and I, I love, Jay, I love this down. because I, I know Sarah, I know her, how she's speaking, so I understand her language. But although mindful, mindfulness and actions too, it's, it's good too. But that, if you're speaking to a younger person, you might need to define this based on an action that they know. That's so why I like, said love. Definitely. So that might be a good one too. Although, but what I'm describing is you might want to keep it really simple for integrity is saying, don't get a cookie out of the cookie jar if I tell you not to get it. That That's integrity. Okay, that's a very simple, that's a very simple, easy definition that is attached to, for, so that it's a very simple, easy definition to this word so that everyone will understand what we're talking about. And as everyone matures and gets a little older, it becomes a little funnier and laughs, or you can change the definition and, and make it a little more thoughtful or meaningful as you get older. At the end of the day also, it's about embracing these values, these family core values to hopefully use this same exercise to create your own core values. I just wanna say thank you so much. Uh, I hope this was helpful. As you can see, before everyone even ate, the, we were able to create family core values. Starla? And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe!